Lone Star will offer to you on the start of the journey to choose between 15 playable classes, each class with its own unique characteristics and skills. Some of them are ranged classes, some of them are melee classes, and even that most of the classes you can consider as ranged ones. In today's video, you will see four best ranged DPS classes of Lost Art in 2022. Before we start, let me just say, subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more Lost Ark videos in the future. Let's start with Deadeye. Deadeye is a class known by old name Devil Hunter, from other regions where Lost Ark was released previously. This is a ranged DPS class which uses three different weapons. A pair of handguns, a shotgun and a sniper rifle. You will use pistols for debuffs, buffs and mobility while shotgun you will use for burst damage. Sniper rifle you will use to get some range from your target. Deadeye have a lot of mobility skills and burst damage and is performing very good in both PvE and PvP. You will be able to choose between two engravings. Pistolier is a very limiting engraving, not so good one because it's removing the use of shotgun and the rifle which removes half of Deadeye's skills. Enhanced weapon engraving increases crit chance when swapping weapons, providing a solid damage boost. Next skills are worth to spend skill points on. Equilibrium, Sign of Apocalypse and Last Request. Positive sides of this class are high burst damage, lots of mobility and very nice crit buffs for your party members. Bad side of this class is that you are squishy and low on defense stats, so be careful during close range combat. Let's go further with another amazing ranged DPS class and that is Gunslinger. Same as Deadeye, Gunslinger have access to a rotation of free weapons pair of handguns, shotgun and a sniper rifle. If you are a new player to Lost Ark, I wouldn't recommend this class for you since Gunslinger is not easy to play because you will need to switch between weapons very fast depending on situation to maximize your damage output and to achieve best possible performance of this class. Class engravings which are available to you are Peacemaker and Time to Hunt but time to hunt you will not use since it will totally remove your ability to use shotgun. You want to be able to use all three weapons which are available to this class. Skills you want to spend your skill points on are Equilibrium, Sharpshooter, Focus Shot and Quick Step. Positive sides of this class are that it feels really fluid to play, it has mobility and it will make lots of damage. If you compare this class with Deadeye, Gunslinger has additional range, so don't forget about that. Bad sides of Gunslinger are that it feels squishy and it's not easy to play, so it's not beginner's friendly class. Next class which also feels very strong in PvP is Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter is a ranged class which uses mechanical bows with special arrows and main characteristic of this class are high survivability and agility. Actually, this class have very few close ranged abilities, so if you want to play class which have most of the skills as a long range attacks, then this is a class for you. Don't be confused regarding the name of this class, in other versions of this game in Korea, Russia and Japan, this class is known as Hokai. Sharpshooter have a very interesting identity skill, which make this class able to summon a hawk. After using it, you'll have two options, send it to enemy or make it self-destruct. Whatever you decide, it's a very useful skill. This class perform very good in both PvP and in PvE, but I like it much more in PvP gameplay because of that long range and high mobility which will make easier for you to survive longer time and also to hit targets from longer distance before they can even reach you. However, this class have two bad sides. Be careful if you engage in melee combat because then you will feel how squishy you are against melee classes. You must stay most of the time at some distance from your target. Another bad side of this class is that it doesn't have buffs or debuffs which would be useful for your party. 
Most of other classes of Lost Ark have at least one very useful buff or debuff, which will be useful to members of your party, which is very important since you will play big part of Lost Ark endgame content in parties with other players. Sorceress is a new class which was released in Korea in August of 2021 as a part of new update but we are lucky that we will be able to enjoy in playing this new class right away from the first day of release here in the west. This class is a spellcaster which uses fire, ice and lightning magic. You will use all of these three elements depending on situation. Fire magic is all about high damage and destruction. Lightning magic is all about damage and stuns, while ice magic is dedicated to slows and freezes. Sorcerers have a party buff, which makes target of your party to take 6% additional damage, which is really a nice buff, you have to admit. First things which are on my mind when I'm talking about sorcerers are AoE magical damage and beginner's friendly class with very enjoyable gameplay. That sentence alone would probably describe the best this class, but of course there is much more to it than this short description. To maximize damage while leveling, you should focus all your skill points on next three skills. Grand Tsunami, Scourge and Bomb. But even if you decide to spend your skill points on some other skills, you will not make a mistake. Sorcerers is a class which is making really nice damage and will make your leveling and gameplay experience very enjoyable. As a real mage class, Sorceress is a class which you will play with only one purpose, to make damage. As you have heard in today's video, I have mentioned four different classes as best ranged DPS classes. From Gunners, I have mentioned Sharpshooter, Deadeye and Gunslinger. I didn't mention Artillerist because of simple reason. This class also have pretty nice damage output, however it feels a lot like a tank. As you can see from these pictures here, artillerists have a heavy armor and that is one very specific characteristic of this class. From other ranged DPS classes, I have also mentioned sorcerers. From mages we have here bard, which is a support class, and sorcerers, which is a real mage class. For release in the west, we didn't get summoner. Sorcerers have replaced Summoner, probably in future in some of the new updates we will also get Summoner, however don't forget about Sorcerers as one really powerful ranged DPS class. Regarding Lost Ark, Western release and of course regarding what is happening over there in Korea, check my YouTube channel for lots of gameplay videos and guides for new players. I am following everything what is happening regarding Western release and of course regarding Korean news because over there we have many things happening regarding new classes. Check some dedicated videos regarding new classes of Lost Ark. Recently in Korea we have get artist new support class. I have two videos regarding that topic and also we have get announcement of female berserker and Iromancer. Check some videos on my YouTube channel regarding what is happening in Korea because sooner or later whatever they have get over there in Korea we will get here in the West. Over there in Korea they have a huge focus currently on adding more of PvP content to this game. Probably you know that Low Stark is mainly PvE game. However, developers of the game recently with new updates in Korea they are adding much more of PvP content in the game with uh, New Continent Rowan which was recently added to the game over there in Korea. They have also add faction system. I already made a dedicated video regarding that. Check video regarding factions of Lost Stark because when you enter that New Continent Rowan you'll be able to choose between two factions. Also they have add lots of other interesting content like castle sieges that is a guild versus guild kind of PvP. Sounds really good, right? Let me know in the comments below video which class will you play as your main and which classes you will play as alts. If you are interested into MMORPGs, check my YouTube channel for lots of gameplay videos, guides, news and reviews from World of MMORPG Gaming with main focus on new upcoming PC MMORPGs and of course with main focus on Lost Ark.
Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more Lost Ark videos in the future. See you soon.